Get out! What's going on friends? Logan Myers here for Cinefellas.com. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing the newest entry in the Amityville horror franchise, The Amityville Murders. So I had the opportunity to talk to one of the actresses in this film that plays Louise DeFeo. Uh, she's no stranger to the movie industry. I'm talking about Diane Franklin. She's a wonderful actress. She was big in the 80s. She was in a few of my favorite flicks back then, Bill and Ted, and then Better Off Dead with uh, John Cusack. So it was really interesting talking to her. Uh, talking about this role in the Amityville Murders and other stuff, but I'll post the link to that interview right up here on our channel. So if you guys are not familiar with the Amityville Horror, uh, the movie came out in 1979 based on the real life events of the DeFeo family and the Lutz family. So essentially the setup is Ronnie DeFeo Jr., or in this movie called Butch, um, he kills his entire family. Um, he had like two brothers, two sisters, and his parents. He took a shotgun, killed them. They're all like face down in their bed. Um, he ends up going to prison. He claims that voices were telling him to do this, some sort of demonic entity that made him kill his family. So he was put away. And then you have the Lutz family that moves into the house not too long after, and they last a month in this house, and they basically take off. There's a lot of shitty movies in the Amityville horror franchise. I love the first one, and the second one's pretty good. Amityville 2, The Possession, but there's a bunch of others didn't really care for and I thought the reboot they did with Ryan Reynolds was pretty good for the most part and uh, it was funny seeing Ryan Reynolds in a horror flick. I thought we we're having meatloaf. I thought it was meatloaf. <laughs> but this time around with the Amityville Murders we have Daniel Farrens, writer director of this flick. He wrote one of my favorite entries in the Halloween franchise, Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers, my favorite of the Thorn trilogy, the one with Paul Rudd. Uh, you know, it's a really great flick, so it's cool. He's done that. He's worked on other documentaries, horror movie documentaries, Scream, I think, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, and Fred the 13th documentary. So obviously he's a huge fan of the horror genre. So in the Amityville Murders, we have John Robinson playing Butch DeFeo or Ronnie DeFeo Jr., uh, essentially the murderer of his family. Uh, he's a great actor. He was in Lords of Dogtown. He's been in a bunch of indie flicks, and he was really, really great in this role as a young Butch DeFeo and everything this person comes across in this movie. We have Paul Ben Victor playing Ronnie DeFeo, senior, the dad. He's the hard ass. He's been in a bunch of movies. He's always like the hard ass Italian guy. He's like, what are you doing, huh? And we have Diane Franklin playing Luis DeFeo. Uh, she's no stranger to the Amityville franchise. I was saying earlier, she was actually in Amityville too, The Possession. She was a young teenager. This time around, she's the mom. Really interesting to see her coming back to this franchise. How many years later? and playing the mother and you know her performance in this movie was pretty good. The DeFeos live in this house, um, High Hopes, and in this movie they, they explain why it's called High Hopes. And uh, you know this house is still creepy, you know, this is before the Lutzes enter this house. But it, just the way that this movie is shot, uh, the way that they, they get the camera on this house, it really builds this atmosphere, this dread, you know, you're scared shitless, you know, because there's something darker uh, behind those doors of the house, something, a darker presence, an entity. Um, that slowly begins to take hold on, you know, Butch DeFeo. And the kids in this movie are really great, you know, playing the DeFeo kids. Um, you know, they weren't like the normal child actors that are annoying. I think they did pretty good with the performance and, you know, in this story it, revolving around Supernatural. It was a really cohesive family with all these performances. You could tell they got along and they really worked well off one another. One thing I liked about this film, there was some good Supernatural creepiness to it. Um, a lot of the editing kind of reminded me of The Haunting in Connecticut, which I think the producers of that movie worked on this. Um, so it makes sense, but just the editing, the, the dark palettes, the dark color schemes, you know, there's a lot of grays and darks. It's dark throughout the house, you know, it really builds that atmosphere of, of a haunting, a paranormal. And it was really, really good. I mean, there's a few jump scares in the film, as you can expect. And the setup of the Amityville house and the high hopes, I think the directing and the set the design was done very, very well. You already know what's going to happen at the end of the movie. Um, and, you know, just seeing how Butch DeFeo he changes throughout the movie is really convincing. I thought John Robinson did an excellent job of really playing this deranged, crazy, um, haunted man, you know. He... Uh, his family's worried about him. They think he's the devil. But leading up until the end of the film, obviously it's the buildup of when, you know, DeFeo kills his entire family 
And, you know, the way they shot that at the very end of the movie, I guess it's not a spoiler because you know how it's going to end. And, uh, but the way that was shot, him just, like, snapping out and killing his entire family, you can see how deranged he is. And he, uh, the actor really went to a dark place to capture the scene. And I really thought that they did that very well at the end of the movie. You know, I always kind of wondered, you know, with this house, all the family is face down in the bed, you know, and he went through the different rooms to kill his entire family. Why didn't they hear the gunshots? So if you started with one of the family members and, the, you know, in the other room, they didn't hear the gunshot or maybe it was because of the house they couldn't hear it. I don't know. That was one thing I always wondered about and why they're all face down in the bed. And this is all based on true factual events uh, happened in, in New York back in 1974 with the DeFeo family. Um, and Ronnie DeFeo Jr. saying that the, the voices told him to do it. But, you know, we're trying to wonder if it actually was haunted or if he was just crazy. I was hoping one of these days, the, you know, the ghost shows like Ghost Adventures or Zach Bagans will go do an investigation, you know, to see if they catch anything or if it's all just bullshit. Overall, I had a good time with the Amityville murders. Uh, it's a pretty cool film, building up the story of the DeFeos leading to the events that happened in the first film, Amityville Horror. And I think it was an interesting take to see what happens to Butch DeFeo and what leads him to the brutal murders of his family. And I thought the actor, John Robinson, did an excellent job with this character. I also like Diane Franklin playing the mother because she was very convincing and seeing how much she cares for her son and what he's going through. and then basically seeing the ultimate demise of her and her husband and kids. The way the film was shot and the set design was actually phenomenal. I liked the way they uh, filmed certain scenes and the way that the house looked just was fantastic. Um, you know, some of the effects are a little spotty, they looked a little dated, but you know, if you look past that, I think you'll have a good time with this movie, especially if you're a huge fan of the Amityville franchise. With a movie like this, you already know what's gonna happen at the end, but if you're interested to see their take on the DeFeo family and Ronnie DeFeo Jr. This is definitely a movie you should check out. I'm giving the Amityville Murders a three out of five George Lutz hair pieces. There's a curly fro. So what'd you guys think of the Amityville Murders? What did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? What's your favorite movie in the franchise? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to hit subscribe. This is Logan Meyer signing out from High Hopes up here in uh, Amityville, New York. Until the next video review, cheese!